Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here. I've not posted in a while, but um, I've gotten a couple subscribers in the past couple days, so I decided that um, while I'm waiting for this um, pocket organizer that I'm making dry um, with the uh, atom wax I just applied, that I'd make a quick video talking about um, whether or not uh, someone should go ahead and get into Leathercraft. Now, the first thing, um, well, let me say this. This is um, my opinion, and um, uh, it should not be taken as, uh, you know, any professional advice. I'm kind of just giving my two cents here. <clears throat> so, um, the first thing you really want to ask yourself is, why, what are you... Um, what are you getting in? Why are you getting into it? What is your motivation? Is it um, for fun? Do you want to try something new? Is it um, for money? Are you trying to start a side hustle? And you um, saw other things selling and you think to yourself, maybe that would be a good side business? Um, or is it out of necessity? Do you need something? Um, or uh, various things that would... Uh, be best made using leather. Um, so for me, um, I got into it out of necessity, kind of. Um, necessity is kind of a strong word, um, I would say out of want. I was looking for a, um, a pencil case. I kind of collect loosely mechanical pencils. I use them for drawing and um, you know I was looking around for uh, a pencil case that I liked uh, and all of them either were way too expensive or I had to you know have them shipped over from Europe or something and they take a long time. So I decided why not try it myself? Um, so that's what got me into it. Um, so that's kind of where my advice is coming from, is if you decide to get into this, pick a project, a small, simple project, and go from there. Uh, I know a lot of, of the uh, videos I've seen that are, you know, Leather 101, the 10 things you need to know, or beginning in Leathercraft, all that type of stuff. They're giving you a list of tools that you need, which is good, um, but there are so many tools uh, that could be very useful it's hard to narrow things down, um, so I would suggest doing it by a project. So if you're looking to do a wallet, um, you could get m most of your things at a uh, craft store. You know, stopping into a Hobby Lobby or a, um, Michael's, you know, they usually have like a small leather crafting aisle. And um, uh, I would suggest keeping the um, it maybe stamping would be all right but doing the the uh, actual carving with the swivel knife stuff save that for another day I I think I went maybe four or five months um, kind of toying with leather before I decided to go ahead and maybe it was even longer than maybe it was like six months to nine months before I got a swivel knife um, because they can be expensive you can get some decent ones for a decent price on Amazon or eBay um, but um, if you want a good quality one you're probably going to be spending close to a hundred dollars um, you know um, maybe a little bit less maybe uh, sixty to ninety dollars for a, a very good one um, so you definitely want it to you want to make sure that you um, are into the craft before you go ahead and make that purchase so again I would suggest uh, finding a project that you like uh, for something that you're going to use and then um, follow through with it. You know, get, make yourself a nice list first of the things that you're going to need. Do a little bit of research, um, you know, and uh, make the simple project. And if it's something that you enjoyed, take a next step. Get another tool. Buy some more material. Um, what I wouldn't suggest is going ahead and spending $400 at Tandy or Weaver Leather um, got getting all these tools and getting all excited and then you find out that you're a um, you know a perfectionist and that you are going crazy because every time you use your edge beveler it doesn't look as good as it did on the YouTube video that you just watched because trust me um, this is a craft that takes time and effort and most of all patience um, so 
uh, if you're going to get into it, you know, go ahead and pick yourself a simple project and see how you like it. Um, so for me, um, after uh, I did the pencil case, I kind of stepped it up, stepped it up, stepped it up. And even at some point, I was like, man, I'm really getting good. I look back on the stuff I did about four or five years ago. I, I've been doing it for about five years now. Um, that, uh, you know, it's very rudiment. <laughs> you know, I could tell that uh, I was beginning. Um, but, uh, you know, I was persistent. Uh, even people now like, how do you do that? That looks so great. And my skill, I think, is okay, but there's a lot of people who are better than me. Um, but they have 15, 20, 30 years in the craft. So I'm hoping to achieve that um, level of craft at some point, that level of art at, art at some point. But um, it's going to be with persistence, um, passion, and dedication that I reach that uh, level that I'm looking for. So um, I know I rambled a little bit, but uh, my, my the big takeaways from here are, you know, uh, uh, ask yourself why. And uh, then pick a small, simple project, uh, do a little bit of research, get the materials and the, the tools, uh, try to be as minimalist as you can, um, go ahead and knock out that first project, and then take it from there. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to post another video hopefully in the next week or so on a uh, sheath that I'm doing and hopefully do it step by step. It's not going to be a how-to, but I'll kind of walk through how I make um the uh, sheath, sheaths for uh, the particular knives, uh, knives that um, I make uh, sheaths for, which are the butterfly knives or uh, bala songs. So um, thanks for watching. Um, embrace your creativity. Peace.